Hello and welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how to count or sum cells with a specific color in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. Take a look at this workbook here. We have ID and we have amount. Let's add some background color, yellow. Change this. Let's change this to, to red and this to let's say green okay so now if I want to count how many cell has yellow how can I do that also if you want to count the total amount of cell that has yellow color okay so we are going to use VBA for this and I'm going to click on the developer tab here if you don't have developer tab on your ribbon please check out this tutorial once you have added the developer tab click on the developer tab click visual basic click insert and then click more okay now I'm going to write the code I have already written the code so I have prepared it beforehand and let's try it first and then I'm going to explain how each line is working how this code works okay so once you have pasted the code here which you will find in the video description check out the link if you need this code and once you have added it in the visual basic editor close this now if you need to use this option frequently you will have to save this workbook in .xlsm format so let's save it click on file click on save as in the desktop and from the drop down i'm going to select excel macro enabled workbook and click save remember whenever you add a macro in your workbook you will have to save your workbook in this format okay now our code is a custom function so let's see i want to find out how many cell has yellow within this range so i'm going to click on home and i'm going to add the yellow here and let's add the red also and add green okay now i'm going to write a formula here i'm going to write equal to and then i'm going to write cal and here we have calculate cell color double click that this is the color we want to find out inside this range and then we are going to calculate that okay so i'm going to add comma and then i'm going to select the range where we have our specific color and i'm going to press function and f4 to fix that reference if you have different keyboard you can just simply press the f4 that will make this range absolute because we have added dollar sign before the column name and the row number this is how you make a cell reference absolute so whenever you make a cell reference absolute it doesn't matter if you copy this formula to somewhere else the cell reference will be the same okay so we have done that and now we are going to write here true double click it and close parenthesis and press enter so this is the sum of these three cells so if i select this and here we have the same amount here in the status bar and now if we drag this formula and you can see we have the sum of yellow here red here and green here what if you want to count how many cell has yellow okay so for that write the same formula equal to ca and here we have calculate cell color and then select the color you want to find then select the range from where you want to find that specific color and count make that reference absolute and then you're going to write here false close parenthesis press enter and you can see we have three cell that has yellow color if I drag this formula it will work okay let's say instead of green somehow we have selected a custom random color this one if i click ok so this is the color but from here how can we make it the same specific color so let's format remove the formatting so here the best way is to select the cell color and use format painter okay if i click here and press on the cell that same format will be pasted here okay so this is how you can match the color you want to count or you want to add the summation here okay so if you have a rare color or a different color that you cannot find from here it will be tough to select manually from this point so that's why you will be using format painter to copy that so this is how you can count or sum cells with specific color now let's learn how the code is working so we are going to click on developer tab and in the visual basic the first option here we have added a function okay so our starting will be function and here we have end function okay now the function name will be calculate cell color okay 
and here we have target color this is the first cell reference we are using in our formula which is we select the specific cell that color we are going to match so here our target cell was this cell okay then the second option is our search range from where we are going to find our target cell color so this is the second parameter our specific data range from where we are going to find which we have named here search range and then we have the third parameter true or false so we are going to either count the cell number how many cell has a specific color or we are going to sum up the value of that specific color that will be triggered as true and false okay now here we have added comments so that you will understand which parameter plus where and then here we have defined our variables and then we have target color index which is the color index of this cell and within our range so our color index for our target cell and color index for our search range okay then we have added another variable where we are going to store our value okay so result will be zero which is our starting point whenever we find let's say we are counting the cell whenever we find one it will be stored in our result variable where our value will be one and from this point we will calculate how many cell has that specific color in the same way whenever we are using the sum function within the formula that means we want to find out how the total amount on specific color that value will be stored in the result variable okay now we run our loop for each cell in our search range which is this one and here we have added comments so you can understand how it's working check if the cell's background color matches the target color so if this cell background color matches this color so this is we are doing here and then in the second if we are calculating if some value is true add the cell value to the result here is the result okay so if some value is true then cells value will be added in our variable here okay otherwise if that's false that means we are going to count the cell okay so if some value is false increment the count by one so we are going to count here so our result will be plus one if it finds another cell that one will be added to this result again and this is how this total loop will go on then we have closed this function and then we have the next cell so it will check first cell if everything's done it will store the result here and then it will move on to the next cell and at the last line we are going to show the result okay so this function will display the result and here in the result we will have our specific value depending if it's counting then it will be one two three four and so on and if it's not counting it's summing up the value then all the value will be added here in the result and we will display the result this is how our function working if you like this video please share this with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you can support the channel through patreon and if you need the code please check the link in the video description thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial